So, yes, I guess we could talk about Russell Brand just a bit. Let's be careful. We're on Twitch, and this will be on YouTube and all that. I don't want to just disappear off of YouTube for just saying things, right? Um, I'll start off by saying... Um, You know, forcing people to do things that they don't want to do is a bad thing, right? I think we can all agree to that. Um, so if that did actually happen, I mean, right now it's just allegations. Nothing's been proven. That That's the important. That is the thing really for me. Nothing's been proven in a court of law. There's no conviction. And these are things that have nothing to do with the streams or videos. But what's the consequence? Is he doing jail time? No, because once again, we didn't go to the courts yet. That didn't even happen. Oh, okay. So what's the consequence? Oh, he's not allowed to make any money ever. Or talk about any of this stuff he used to talk about, which had nothing to do with these crime these alleged crimes at all that's the part where it's kind of like hmm really makes me think what's going on here because it's not like russell brand's ever denied that he's been very promiscuous in fact if you ever seen a russell brand movie and you've seen his earlier acts you know that he puts himself out there like a like he is a sex fiend like like he's a, just a, a sexaholic sort of guy okay Back then, they praised it and they loved it. They thought it was great. But now, all of a sudden, they have a problem with it after after years of him cha uh, challenging narratives. And that's what's happening there. I mean, he whether you agree or disagree with the things he talks about or the points he makes, his takes on certain things, his videos do generate questions, conversations about... Are we really supposed to believe everything we hear from the government? The same people, as, as an American perspective here, the same people that lied to us about many, many things to get us involved and entangled in many, many wars. It turns out that there's a lot of uh, manipulation to get, to get us to go along with things. You want us to believe that? You want us to believe them? No, I don't believe them. Why would I believe them? It's it's so apparent to me that there's something else going on there because, like I said, there's these allegations that come out, right? Allegations from a long ago. And some of the allegations, I'll be honest, guys, sound kind of crazy. You know, the 16-year-old, yikes. But that's the age of consent there in the UK, from what I understand. Even if it was age of consent, it's still kind of yikes. I I don't know what you could possibly do with a 16-year-old other than... Oh, what? Okay, now I know. <laughs> because you're not talking to him. You're not having deep inte intellectual conversations with a 16-year-old. That's just not happening. Um, that might be the most offensive thing I said here in this, this video. Uh, so there's only really one reason why an older man would get involved with a 16-year-old. And that's to make them their own personal like sex um <laughs> I, I mean that's that's what they're doing okay all right but so with that i mean some of the allegations sound kind of crazy but they're just allegations right now and they as far as i know they're not going to court right i mean is he being charged are they taking him to court so that he can have a trial and 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 you know, bring his defense there, and uh, it challenged these allegations. Is that happening? It hasn't happened yet. But what happened immediately was, okay, so someone came out with these allegations against you, and we're gonna go ahead and just remove you entirely off the platform. We're gonna just go ahead and demonetize you. And we're going to try to get you removed off of other platforms. Make sure you can't make a dime at all. Wow. That means anybody could say anything about anyone. 
not have to even prove it in court. And 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 and, and now your whole way of life is going to be destroyed. Once again, let me just say, you may not like Russell Brand. I, I don't believe everything he says. I don't. I, I don't follow him like that. Honestly, when I see his videos, I'm like, well, I mean, okay, whatever. That's kind of it. Yeah, and then move on to the next one. But it, it just seems it it's it's orchestrated, guys. There, there's a reason this stuff is coming up. And from what I understand, uh, the girls involved in these allegations, they're not the, even the ones that came forth with this information. It was like the journalists that reached out to them and all this stuff. And so it, it seems like they don't, they're not even like really pressing anything. Okay. So it's, it's really, it is totally a freaking job. It's a total hit job. Okay. Because this sort of stuff they knew about. That people that were involved in Russell Brand's career early on knew about the sort of stuff, knew about his lifestyle, and they didn't care at all. Wait a second. This is the same people, same people in Hollywood that knew about Weinstein and didn't give a damn, right? This is the same people that knew that Oprah gave gave girls to uh, Weinstein, and what she still has. A, wait a second. Wait a second. Let's talk about that. Let's let's talk about that. If we're going to remove Russell Brand for allegations of sexual misconduct or whatever, why don't we remove Oprah for? There's photos of her. There's photos and videos of her pretty much offering young new actresses to Harvey Weinstein. Oh, and then you think she didn't know what was going to happen? She knew exactly. She knows exactly. You can't tell me otherwise. Ah, oh, come on, man. What about this? What about this? If we're going to start doing this, remove Russell Brand for these allegations, how about we remove all these actors that have, been, that have uh, flight logs with uh, Epstein? How about that? Every single actor, every single celebrity that ever went to that... Went on the Lolita Express and went to that that island of miners. Okay? How about we start removing them? Is that what we're going to do? I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. Anyway. Yeah, Repo Bob says YouTube demonetized their, this channel because the UK government official contacted him. Right! YouTube should say pound sand. So, yeah, that's my opinion on the whole Russell Brand situation. Like I said, you may disagree with the guy. You may think he's sleazy. I mean, I kind of think he's sleazy at times. He comes across as someone who's had def I don't know much about him, right? But, like, like sometimes when you see someone, you'll be like, you know what, man? I bet you have some skeletons in your past, don't you? I bet you have some gnarly skeletons, okay? But. With that said, this is just a bunch of allegations. They have nothing to do with what he does on YouTube. Okay, even if they are true. Even if he was this guy that, had, like, back in the day got involved with, like, 16-year-olds or whatever. It was maybe a little uh, act a certain way, misconduct or whatever. And it was a, okay, all right. So he's not an upstanding, he's not an upstanding guy back then. As, did he change? I don't know. But what does that have to do with his YouTube videos? Okay. I mean, we have we have criminals on YouTube already. We have we have we have, we have criminals on YouTube that are making money, okay, left and right. We have criminals in the NFL making money, okay. Like, what what? Because because he did a crime, he did something. He can't make a dollar off of YouTube. He's not allowed to do that. How does that make sense? I thought the consequence for a crime was just to do time. How about that? Whatever. Anyway, with that said, you guys. Uh, uh, let me know what you thought about this and have a good one.